Hello everyone, my name's Miles Jacobson and I'm here to show you some of the new features in Football Manager 2017. We've got plenty to talk about over the course of this video. Some are major additions to the squad, some are subtle touches that enhance the Football Manager experience, but of course we've also left plenty of new things and improvements for you to discover for yourselves as you work through your way to glory. Let's get straight into it. New animations, improved AI decision making and reactions, a new camera angle and enhanced visuals on and around the pitch are just a handful of enhancements in this year's match engine. Quite simply, the Football Manager 2017 match engine isn't just the best looking, it's also the most intelligent we've ever made. Let's start with the new camera angle. It's called Behind Goal Low and it gets you up close and personal to all the goal mouth action. From this angle, you can see the trajectory of the ball as long range efforts fizz into the back of the net and get a good view of how your team is maintaining its shape. Behind goal low is just the first of a massive suite of enhancements to the overall look of the match engine. You'll notice graphic improvements whatever level your graphics card is at, improved lighting and shadows, player models with more bones to give them more natural movement, improvements to stadiums, and even the grass all enhance the look of the 3D engine. You'll even see dynamic LED hoardings in the larger stadiums. FM17 also features more than 1,500 new motion captured elements worked on with our friends at Creative Assembly. For example, goalkeepers are now capable of pulling off spectacular reactive saves and players head the ball and shoot in a much more intuitive manner, taking into account the flight of the ball better than before. You'll also notice that players move more fluidly than before. We've enhanced the player models, which allows for a more comprehensive set of movements and also lets the players change direction quicker. As well as these improvements, there are some other welcome additions to the match engine, such as Vanishing Spray, something that's become prevalent in the world's biggest leagues. Wherever there's a free kick in a dangerous position, the referee now marks where the ball is placed and lays out a line of spray marking where the wall must stand so there can be no disagreements about whether the wall is the full 10 yards back or not. There's also better pre-match presentation, such as showing the players emerging from the tunnel and lining up ahead of the pre-match handshakes or going through their final warm-ups ahead of kickoff. Speaking of kickoff, we've also incorporated the new rule that allows for one player kickoffs, as well as the recent changes that allow a player injured by a carded offence to receive treatment on the pitch and the law changes to denying a goal scoring opportunity, such as a foul by the last ban not being an automatic red card. And of course, we've updated all the player and league data. Football Manager 2017 also benefits for a whole host of AI enhancements. The number of decisions a player makes per second has almost doubled, meaning players are more aware of the situation they're in and the options around them, and will consider these when deciding what to do with the ball, as will all the opposition players. This leads to more split-second decisions, as you'd see in the real world, especially when play is close to the goal and a player doesn't have much time to think before that last-minute tackle, great save or shot under pressure. Defensive AI in particular has seen a big boost to the work and other elements of the AI that the Match Engine team have been working on. Defenders now adapt better to the opponents they're facing, dropping deeper when facing quick attackers, but pushing up from midfield when in control of the match. You'll notice players positioning themselves better, especially when dealing with crosses and corners, and they react better to loose balls. Goalkeepers also make better judgments about whether to come for the ball or stay on their line. It's not just players who are more intelligent. AI managers also use player roles more intelligently than before when picking their team and making changes during the match. The commentary has also been refreshed with hundreds of new and reworked lines of text, and it's now more contextual. For example, the commentary will give more detailed information about injuries that are suffered during the match, speculating on what the injury might be and what might have caused it. Our goal when developing each iteration of Football Manager is to expand on the realistic, living, breathing world of football that we've created. This year, we've introduced something that's been part of our daily lives over the past few years social media. On the new dedicated social feed tab, you'll see fans, the media, clubs and competitions sharing their news and views on the hot topics in your footballing world. Will they be delighted with your transfer business or start to put the pressure on you after a particularly poor set of results with a carefully worded hashtag? As part of a wider revamp of the news and inbox, 
The social feed is the new home of fan polls and reaction to the big stories, as well as the place where major news stories are broken and transfer rumours start to sprout. You'll even see posts containing video links to notable goals, which you can view in a pop-up player. Whilst your personal assistant will set up some recommendations for you to follow, you can also add clubs, competitions and players to follow yourself. Your inbox is now the place where you received email from your staff at your club, your board, agents and players. In fact, anything related directly to the club will appear here. It's also where your personal assistant will forward really important information to you, such as clips of interviews with your players or news about your club. As part of this revamp, we've made big changes to how certain types of information is presented. For example, choosing your captain is now much simpler. You get more information within the news item, allowing you to make a quick informed decision. You'll also get more information when organising friendly matches and when you pick your team for a training camp. In short, you'll get a lot more information by email, reducing the need to navigate away from the inbox when faced with tough decisions. Staff members now give you their opinions on a wider variety of subjects than before. You've got a player who won't enter contract discussions. Your staff will give you hints on what to do, even if they think you need to offload the player. There's a player in your B team playing well. Well, your staff might well bring this to your attention and suggest you bring him into the first team squad. Your backroom staff have always been important, but from now on they're going to be more important than ever. We've also introduced dynamic images for the first time. For example, if you sign a new player, you'll now see a unique tailored image of that player in your squad. Or if you've had a game cancelled due to bad weather, you'll see exactly why that happened. These direct visual representations will bring the news to life in a way that we've never done before. Something else that's changing is the way we calculate match odds. Now you'll see dynamic odds throughout the season based on your team's performance. If you're pushing up the league against the media's pre-season predictions, you'll see your odds plummet. On the flip side, failing to get results will see your odds lengthen and can be a stark reminder of the pressures that football managers find themselves under on a weekly basis. As you can see, this is a huge change to the way you deal with the media and your staff and will affect the way you can find out things about the game world. You'll be more informed, but in a way that's both easier to digest and more relevant to contemporary football. We've strived to make Football Manager 2017's transfer market the most authentic in the series history, with a host of new additions that replicate the situations that real life managers find themselves in when buying and selling players. A big change to how transfers and contract renewals are conducted is the addition of pre-contract conversations for players who might not be that interested in joining you, or who have interest from other clubs. These will take place with either the player's agent or the player himself and allow you to set out how you see the player fitting into your side, their expected goals for the duration of their contract or responsibilities you want them to take on. In effect, it's a chance for you to sell your club to them. Once these have been agreed, they'll be set as promises that you will be expected to keep. You'll see a greater focus on transfer activity, with transfer sagas that play out over a long period, sometimes even for the duration of the whole transfer window. While certain clubs will identify a single world-class player to be their sole transfer target, a Galactico as some call them, you can keep up to date with all the latest comings and goings on the new dedicated transfer window panel. Clubs are now more intelligent when identifying targets and may even ask for clauses to delay selling one of their players to you until they've signed a replacement, or they might hold off accepting if they think they can get a better deal from another club. Bearing all of this in mind, it might be worth getting your transfer business done early. But for those of you that prefer to get involved with the drama of transfer deadline day, we've made a few improvements there too. Not only will journalists come to you more often looking for the latest scoop for their editor, but you'll also notice some outlandish rumours circulating on social media. We've added in the ability to adjust your transfer and wage budgets on deadline day, and for those of you who leave it until that very last minute to push through that crucial transfer, you'll now also get advised that a loan deal with a view to a permanent transfer could be the best and only way to get the deal done if the time is tight. Players and agents have more power in the transfer market than ever before and, as a consequence, you may see some players holding out for a better offer before deciding whether to sign for a club or not. Also, when multiple clubs are involved in trying to secure their client's signature, agents now go back and forth between the clubs to negotiate the best deal. 
Agents can be useful to managers too, as they now offer more detailed feedback and contract negotiations, and they'll also get in touch with you via email if their client wants to re-enter negotiations after previous talks have broken down. Also new for FM17 is a third transfer lock option that lets you agree to lock down a specific clause or bonus in a transfer deal or contract, but not lock down its value, giving you a little bit more leeway in negotiations. Speaking of clauses, we've added several new ones including separate wage fees in a loan deal, depending on whether a player actually plays or not, minimum fee release clauses if the bidding team is involved in continental competition, and mandatory future fees attached to loan transfers. It's not just players who can get transferred, it can happen with managers too. And you can now arrange for these to happen at the end of a season, just in case you don't want to leave your current club in the lurch. Last year we introduced the new Manager on the Touchline feature where you were able to create your own manager avatar. This time around we've taken that a step further by adding the capability to add your face to the game direct from a photo. To do this all you need is a picture of yourself which you load into the game and add some guidance points. From there some very clever technology from our friends at FaceGen means you'll be met with your very own manager avatar. As you can see from this picture of me there's far more detail added along with facial hair options and even glasses so you can fully tailor the avatar to look as much like you as you want. We've also made changes to how your avatar dresses, giving you more freedom to change and mould your outfit to really suit your management style. You can rock a suit or be closer to the action in your very own tracksuit and, due to public demand, you can even change the colour of your tie. Now when you load up Football Manager, you'll be met with your very own manager on the start screen. We wanted to give you the feeling of really being within the game. We've also made some under the hood changes to manager reputations. New managers will now have more realistic reputations, which will ensure that managers are picked up by clubs that are realistically more likely to approach them. If you start as a Sunday league manager, don't expect any of the big boys to notice you until you've achieved some serious success. You're going to have to really work hard for your next step up, which will give some more depth to long-term lower league management saves. This will also affect the social media aspect of the game, with fans being more cynical and vocal when a manager with a lower reputation is hired. Fantasy Draft made its debut last year as a multiplayer mode and proved to be a popular addition to the series. For Football Manager 2017, we've added a few new features to this mode, not least of which is the addition of AI managers. So now you can play Fantasy Draft just about any way that you want to, entirely on your own against AI managers, against friends, or a mixture of the two. You might even recognise some of the AI managers. Some of our friends have kindly let us immortalise them in the game. The AI managers will have their own preferred formations, and you'll be able to choose which managers to compete against. You can still choose to play against up to 31 human managers, or start a fantasy draft with a mix of human and AI managers. In addition to the new ways to play fantasy draft, We've also changed the squad budget options. You can now select to start with more incremental options up to a maximum of 250 million. While selecting your starting budget, you can also choose whether to include a mid-season transfer window in your draft, and this gives you the opportunity to remove unwanted players from your squad and reclaim the money that they initially cost you. You can then spend that money and any money you had left over from the initial draft on players released by your opponents or players who weren't drafted first time round. Once you're into the draft itself, you'll notice a number of changes that make it easier and quicker to make that all-important pick. You can filter out unaffordable players, and we've increased the size of the timer to make it easier to see how long you have left to select your pick. There's also a new panel detailing the number of players that you have drafted in each position. Finally, you can now import and export your fantasy club and kit for use in every fantasy draft that you play, rather than having to type in the details each time you start a new fantasy draft game. Something else new for Football Manager 2017 is that when you're starting a new game, you'll be able to choose between advanced and quick start modes. With the latter, as the name suggests, you'll get into the action quicker than ever. To demonstrate this, we're starting a new game right here, and we're gonna go through until it's finished loading. As you can see, We've streamlined the way you pick your team and the leagues in your game, so you're now picking your team before the game is set up. 
The quick start mode uses recommended leagues depending on what team you select to get the best database set up tailored for you and your club and your computer. The game will load in bigger reputation leagues as well as relevant and more local leagues to enhance the experience you have as a manager, giving you a large pool of players and teams at your disposal to scout and potentially sign players for your club. And something techy that many of you have asked for, if you have an operating system that can handle it, there's now a 64-bit version of the game alongside the old school 32-bit version, which allows the game to run quicker and utilise as much of your computer's memory as possible. Back to quick start, as you can see the game is already set up and you're ready to get started on your career as the next big thing in management. Assembling a good backroom team has always been important, but with the changes to backroom advice that I touched on earlier, getting the right people in is crucial if you want to get the best out of your team. Backroom advice is now spread across the game rather than just being placed on a single screen, with relevant staff members providing contextual advice to the area of the game that you're looking at. Now, when you click on a player's profile, you may get advice from one of your coaching staff on his training schedule, or if you look on the tactics screen, you may get tactical suggestions from your assistant manager. Backroom advice now covers more content, including suggestions on how to deal with unhappy players, as well as more detailed feedback and the ability to apply all of the recommended advice. In addition to expanding backroom advice, we've also added in new staff roles, specifically data analysts and sports scientists. Data analysts form part of your scouting team and will provide you with detailed pre- and post-match reports looking at the tactical trends in your opposition's previous matches, as well as your own performance. Sports scientists support your medical team and work to reduce the likelihood of injuries reoccurring. It's not just the new staff that have been given attention. Your returning staff from previous games have been improved too. For example, your assistant manager will give you his recommended formation, which you can view on the tactics screen under the formation drop-down menu. Your physio will also highlight how injury prone a player is after they've assessed them in their medical. Another trend we've noticed in football over the last couple of years has also made it into the game. Some players now start their coaching badges before they've retired if they're thinking of staying in the game once they've hung up their boots. In recent years we've seen advances in real world football scouting that place a greater emphasis on statistics, data analysis and video technology to give scouts more tools at their disposal than just their naked eye. You've always had a lot of that power in our games, given so many real world clubs use our database as part of their scouting too. But in Football Manager 2017, you can utilise all these methods to give you a fully rounded view of any potential signing. A major change to the scouting module is the redesigned Next Opposition reports. These contain more information on key players and your opposition's overall ability, in addition to key stats from the competition you're facing them in. We've also included details on your opposite number in the dugout in the report. You can see their likely formation laid out on a horizontal pitch, as well as their likely playing style and mentality. Something that real managers deal with on a regular basis is viewing highlight reels of potential signings. When scouting a player, you now receive a highlights package of the player in action. Your scout will supply this as part of his regular updates on the player, with the highlights displaying in a pop-up player. Scouts will also inform you of injuries that prevent a player from training full-time. It's not just for your opposition though, or even other team's players. The team report panel has been revamped, with the overview screen now giving you a more detailed breakdown of your team's strengths and weaknesses in the same way that you'd see in a player scout report. There's also relevant statistical information that helps you judge in what areas your team is performing well and where there's room for improvement. On the squad depth screen, you'll notice that we've laid out your current formation on the graphical pitch display, giving you an appropriate and clear view of who the strongest players are in each position. Player searching also has some improvement, even going as far to having the ability to search for the number of days a player has spent in a country, which is particularly useful for finding out how long it will take a player to become a citizen of that country or a homegrown player. You're now also able to sort secondary sort player list tables, so for example, you can sort primarily by value, but then have a secondary sort on a player's current wage. The match analysis module received its biggest overhaul in last year's game, with our partnership with Prozone leading to a huge variety of new events to look at in detail. 
We've continued the work we started last year and introduced several new features to Football Manager 2017's in-game match analysis. And with Prozone having recently rebranded to Stats, that's happened in game two. Now, if you want to see a snapshot of where a game was won or lost, you can do just that by selecting the new overview screen on the analysis dropdown. This screen displays heat maps for both sides and picks out the key statistical information that illustrates which formation and style of play was more effective over the course of the 90 minutes. There are new events too, as you can now see where on the pitch possession was being gained and lost, as well as where individual touches of the ball were made. In addition to these new events, there's also a new graphic on the Action Zone screen to show the focus of attacks during the match. We've also added in assists as a selectable category, so you can see how that perfectly timed pass came about. Press conferences can make or break a manager. A well-placed soundbite or two can turn you into a media darling, buying you more time when the pressure's on. However, a poorly thought-out response can easily turn the fans and media against you. Football Manager 2017 features a range of new, more contextual questions, and with the presence of social media for the first time, you'll need to think carefully about how what you're saying will be perceived. As part of the extra context in the questions, You'll find more questions about match events, transfers, player happiness and injuries too, as journalists seek their next big headline-grabbing story. You'll also see other teams' managers chiming in with their own comments. For example, you could see other managers chiming in with their own opinions, extending the life of the narrative and creating extra drama. Football Manager 2017 also adds a further layer of depth to players' characters with improved player personalities and progression modelling. Personality traits have been enhanced this year and are more versatile, working with a wider range of features. A player's ambition, loyalty, determination and professionalism, amongst others, have an even larger bearing on how successful they will be throughout their career. For example, a player with a low adaptability will now be less willing to move abroad for the fear of missing home. There have been several changes to the way players change over time. You'll find more attributes now start to decline as a player enters the twilight of their career, as they would do in real life. The algorithms used to judge a player's decline have also been significantly improved to take into account things such as club's training facilities, the amount of first-team football he's been getting, and how long he's been playing first-team football for. Players can now approach you and tell you that they want to join a specific club, even if another team is interested in them and likely to make a higher value offer. This can also create a stir on social media, with some fans turning on the player in question and others excited about the prospect of him joining their club. Players can also conduct exclusive interviews with the media to try and force your hand if they're unhappy about a particular issue. For example, if a player wants to play first team football but you've overlooked him, he may decide to tell the local press how he feels to turn public opinion in his favour. In addition to the improvements in player personalities, interaction and progression, we've revamped the player and staff comparison screens. There is now a lot more information on the overview screen, including star ratings and a clickable coach report, as well as their season stats. Creator Club made its debut last year in the desktop version of Football Manager, having previously been exclusively available in Football Manager Mobile. This year we've added a couple of new features to the popular game mode. The first of these is something that a number of people have been asking for, the ability to add more created players to a squad. Now you can put together a full squad of you and your mates and lead them to glory. For those of you that prefer to work with real players, We've also brought in the ability to search for specific players, just as you can in the fantasy draft mode. Getting the board on side is crucial to becoming a successful manager. After all, these are the people who dictate how much money you have to spend, who can give you the go-ahead for new building projects and, of course, have the power to remove you from your job. In Football Manager 2017, boards behave in a more dynamic and realistic fashion and work more closely with their manager. You'll notice that the board come to you more often than they used to and will want to discuss a range of topics such as contract offers, budget adjustments and changes to the size of your staff. Some chairmen will also seek your opinion on budgets and the club's facilities after a takeover. The board will also give you more input on your relationship with affiliated clubs. You can now negotiate existing partnerships to ensure you're getting the most out of the arrangement for your club. 
There is more information about certain affiliations too, such as whether the partnership is a long-term arrangement and how commercially lucrative the deal is. The interact with board option on the transfer offer screen has been revamped too. In the right circumstances, boards will be willing to part with a hard-earned cash on a player that you've identified, especially if it's a marquee name. Sugar Daddies those owners who like to invest heavily in their clubs now also operate more realistically. Firstly, they're now dynamic, which means they will change the type of investment they put into the club as their team moves up or down divisions. There's a new type of sugar daddy for this year too, underwriter who expects return. This type of sugar daddy will take over a club outside of the top flight with good prospects, but who have some sort of debt. They will then pay off that debt with a loan that will have to be repaid if the club reaches the top division, as well as taking profit out of the club over the long term. One final thing to note is that tycoons now use more advanced logic when choosing a club for a takeover. As always, there are a huge number of subtle but significant features that help to create FM's immersive game world. Here are just a selection of some of these features that highlights the level of detail that you can expect from Football Manager 2017. There are loads more of these that you may discover yourself while playing the game. On the club's history screen, you can now see every single player who's played for your club arranged by season with details of where they are now, perfect for those of you who enjoy long-term saves. The club history screen also features plenty of new records, including the most goals in all competitions in a season, the most clean sheets in a season, and the most wins in a season. And it's not just records that have been added. There are now pre-season odds for awards such as top goal scorer and player of the year. New gen names have also been tweaked, so there are now featured double barrel surnames to reflect the way things are in the modern game and in the real world. And just to show that we really are sticklers for authenticity, there are even now more naming choices for Danish new gens, which has been a problem in the past. You'll notice that the scrolling stats bar at the bottom of the processing panel has been given greater prominence with more stats now being shown. In Australia, we've revamped the youth league system to reflect the new conference system that was brought in at the end of last year. Meanwhile, MLS managers will notice that AI managers are more intelligent with their selections in the super draft, choosing players who can improve on weaknesses in their squads. Kosovo and Gibraltar have been added into the qualifying groups for all international tournaments that they are eligible to compete in. FFP rules have been fully updated ahead of the new season to include a new range of embargo restrictions that allow you to make loan and transfer offers within the parameters of financial fair play sanctioned limits. Customizable columns have been added to certain league tables, allowing you to view tables for the first and second halves of the season. We've also added in the facility requirements and accurate prize money rules for our newest licensed league, the Polish Extra Laksa. This is on top of fully updated competition rules around the world and up-to-date squad and player data. This season's network game experience is quicker and more intelligent. A host of new options allow you to progress through the game quicker without missing any important managerial business. Hosts can now set a maximum number of times that their game is allowed to stop on any one day. There's also a new customizable timer that can be put in place that gives managers a set window of time to deal with things like board meetings and submitting their squad. If you choose to use the timer, then you can also select whether you want the game to stop the timer moving you past certain news items, such as job interviews and board meeting requests. There's an additional online game preference that forces all users to have their assistant manager take control of their friendly matches, saving time during pre-season, should everyone agree that that's how they'd like to play the game. This year, Football Manager Touch has been separated from Football Manager 2017 on PC, Mac and Linux, and made into its own standalone game with a distinct experience compared to its sibling. The focus, as ever, is to give you a streamlined Football Manager experience, concentrating on some of the key aspects of football management, such as transfers and tactics. Football Manager Touch 2017 is the quickest version yet, as new features and optimization allow you to progress through the game more quickly than before. Many of the new and enhanced features that we've spoken about for FM 2017 are in Touch 2. The match engine improvements, transfers and contracts, social media, the inbox, player improvements, AI improvements, and a lot more besides. But let's look at some specific FM Touch features too. 
There's now the option to instant result midway through a match, ideal if you've seen enough of your team's performance or a short of time. The rest of the match will simulate and you'll be taken straight to the result. You can utilise your backroom staff more effectively too, delegating more tasks to them than was previously possible, allowing you to concentrate on getting the team ready for match day. You now have the option to let your director of football handle contract negotiations for you when the time comes to renew a player's contract. You can also delegate the responsibility of setting scouting assignments to your chief scout, saving you even more time. Speaking of scouting, that area of the game has seen a wide range of improvements for FM Touch. A streamlined version of the scouting assignment panel is now available, so you can see where your scouts are in the world at any given time. The scout report news item has also been redesigned in a similar manner to how that news item now appears in Football Manager, while the training overview screen has also been redesigned to feature more graphical information. There's lots more to explore and some new challenges for challenge mode, but with the streamlined experience that you've come to expect from Football Manager Touch. And you can still cross save between PC, Mac, Linux and the high-end Android tablet and iPad Mini 2 and above and pro versions of the game. So that's a taste of what to expect from Football Manager 2017. We're very proud of the enhancements and improvements that we've made to this year's game that make it the most immersive and realistic management simulation that we've ever produced. And I hope that you'll enjoy experiencing it and finding new things out for yourself. Mm -hmm.